Facebook.com. When there's work to be done around or in your home. When there's money to be spent, you don't want to go wrong. Where people you can trust. It's the weekend, folks. That's right. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network on 97 won the ticket. And boy, oh boy, it's a great weekend. That is for sure. So if you're first tuning in for the show for the first time, a little bit about me. My name's Adam Helfman, of course. I'm a home improvement expert, a fourth generation contractor, uh, over 30 years in the industry. I've been remodeled and built probably over 10,000 homes, and uh, I'm here to share my knowledge. I'm here to tell you everything there is to know about home improvement that'll make your home improvement project hassle-free. You see, folks, we're not a do-it-yourself show. I'm not anti-do-it-yourself. However, I'm pro-do-it-for-me. And what does that mean? Well, it's simple. I'm not going to tell you how to stop your washing machine from doing the tango across the floor, okay? That's for Joe Gannon. He can help you with that. However, what I'm going to tell you is the questions to ask the washing repairman. Because when you YouTube it, you're like, oh, no, what do I do? It's the ball bearings. It's the Fetzer valve. No. It's the questions you got to ask so that the guy doesn't rip you off. Because your number one fear, folks, for home improvement is that you're overpaying or getting ripped off, right? So for tuning into the show, I want to let you know that this is the home improvement radio show that teaches you, the homeowner, how to fix, repair, or remodel everything within the four corners of your lot. And you got to understand something. Your car has an odometer. It tells you how many miles are on it. It tells you when the air pressure in your tires are low. It tells you when to check the engine, right? Low fuel. There's all these little gadgets in your car to keep your engine running smoothly or the whole car running. Well, guess what, folks? Your house doesn't have an odometer. Hire it done is your odometer. And we're here to tell you when to change your air filter, when to clean your gutters, when to tune up your furnace, when to check the air quality, right? When to add insulation. We've got it all, folks. And the point is, is we're here to help you get it done. And that's why the companion website to the radio show is called HireItDone.com. And, of course, HireItDone.com is where you find good contractors. Now, we have a 10-point pre-screening. So if you want to see what we do and what we put our contractors through, just go to HireItDone.com and peruse the site. We just relaunched the website. We have a huge amount of content, videos blogs, all kinds of information. Plus, we got some great deals. In fact, today's show, in fact, this segment is brought to you by PPG Paints. I want you to take advantage of their friends and family discount. We've got a coupon on the Hire Done website if you're going to buy paint, stain, anything for your house. You get 25% off paints. Take a look at that, folks. Yeah, just go to Hire Done. You get the coupon uh, printed out. The other thing is we're uh, brought to you by Liquid Rubber Siding. Now, everyone's heard of paint, everyone's heard of siding, liquid rubber siding. What the heck is that? It's in between, Um, and it's awesome, okay? It's less money than siding, just a hair more than paint. You know, it's actually sometimes less than paint. It depends on the the painter that you got coming out. But anyways, we got a 10% off coupon. Um, You may have heard of the uh, competitors called Rhino Shield. They're uh, big, big bucks advertising and stuff, but it's the same product. So you can save money doing it that way as well. Anyways, uh, we have a really, really, really good show uh, lined up for you today. I've got uh, how to stay cool this summer with the right amount of insulation. Yeah, insulation actually keeps your house warmer in the winter, but it also keeps the cool air in. I'm going to show you how to, how to save money that way. It's totally worth it. We also have uh, basic waterproofing, rapid dry, okay? And they have a unique system. We're going to be talking about it. Um, our their Rapid Roofing is one of our contractors, and they also just opened up a division called Rapid Dry. So we're going to be interviewing uh, Mike Beatty, who's one of the owners, and we're going to be asking him the tough questions because I have my own theory on how waterproofing should be done. So we're definitely going to get that information out the way we have it. 
But I want to talk about being ghosted by a contractor. You know, right? Ghosted? Isn't that a dating term? You meet a guy or a girl, next thing you know, you're thinking everything's going great, and then they, they don't call you, and they go disappear. What? Boom, gone. What does it happen with, a, with contractors? Does it happen with contractors? Heck, yeah, it happens more than you think. And so what sparked this uh, segment is that I, an article I read in the New York Times about being ghosted. So uh, interesting, because here's the thing. It's a common situation when dealing with contractors. Let me paraphrase the way the writer wrote the story. Uh, they had a contractor coming up on a Sunday night. Not a favorite time to come, but listen, contractors, and folks, if you're going to call a contractor, of course, your attitude is, oh, yeah, come over in the evening. I'm done with work. Come in the evening. Well, the contractor works all day and in the evening, so let's make sure we all respect the contractor's time. But here's the thing. This, this article says uh, she was in Sunday night discussing the project with her contractor, prospective contractor, actually, but there she was, eagerly showing this, her contractor the basement. And she was willing to take what she get because of the three contractors that she called, only one showed up. Now, come on, folks. You know how common that is. One of the biggest frustrations are when people call contractors, they, oh, yeah, we'll be out then, and then they don't show. Now, we have a, no, a zero tolerance policy in Hired Done, but even our guys sometimes are late and miss an appointment. There's, mistakes happen. Dog ate the homework. You heard of that. So you got to make sure that you know that. So anyways... This homeowner actually liked this contractor. By the time he left, I was smitten. All I had to do now was wait for his bid. A week went by with no word. She, talked, she chalked up the week to his busy schedule. At the end of the week number two, she nudged him with a cheery reminder of emailing. Hey, Mr. Contractor, I'm waiting on that bid. Well, guess what? Nothing. She never heard from him again. All of a sudden, she gets one email that says, a half-page proposal with scant information, just a vague bullet list with a dollar sum at the bottom. And when I asked for more detailed references, she never heard from him again. Folks, don't get ghosted by a contractor. Let me tell you what to do. From now on, end every meeting with knowing what happens next. I'll give you a quick sam summary. Mr. Contractor, thanks for coming over tonight. Thank him. Uh, I know you're going to process the, the information. You're going to come up with a proposal. When deal will that be ready? He'll all oh, next week. Okay, next week's a five, seven days, Mr. Contractor. What day? Lock him in. And then if he says, okay, I'll see you Wednesday, say, okay, fine. If I don't hear from you Wednesday, can I call you Thursday? And let him know how serious you are. Controlling what happens next is the key to that, folks. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire Done Net Network. Welcome back, folks. This is the Higher Done Radio Network. My name is Adam Helfman, home improvement expert. This segment brought to you by Rapid Dry. Get 10% off or get a free upgrade to closed cell foam insulation on your crawl space. Crawl space encapsulation. Yeah, we got to talk about that. Go to HigherDone.com for details. And Bolliard Lumber, uh, free fasteners when you buy a Timber Tech deck package through Bolliard and Higher Done. Visit HigherDone.com for details. So, folks, what we've been doing is we've been getting great deals from our contractors and suppliers, and we've been putting it on the website, and legit, you can save a real deep amount of money. So, we've had a lot of rain lately, and listen, no one has x-ray vision. So, when you're in your basement and water's coming in, you don't know where, it's very uh, anxiety-producing problems. So, I want to get make sense of this for you. And uh, give you some good information right now because joining me in the Hired Done studio is Mike Beatty from Rapid Dry with an I Foundation Systems. Good morning. Hey, how you doing, Adam? I'm awesome. Welcome to the Hired Done Radio Show. Hey, thanks for having me on. Um, of course, of course. And folks, by the way, uh, you can always go to Facebook on Hired Done or 97 One The Tickets Facebook page, and you can watch us live uh, if you need to. So, Mike, you guys have been doing waterproofing for a long time. Oh, yeah. And so tell us about, you know, I always tell people, look, waterproofing is uh, not an exact science because it's underground. And, oh, yeah, inside systems, outside systems, you know, I prefer an outside system just because you want to get the water beforehand. However, take a look, folks, and think about this. Every house out there, is there a front porch? Is there a deck on the back? Do you have a driveway going along the side of your house? Are you going to cut that driveway out and then report after you've waterproofed it and spend a hundred grand? No. 
you have to be pra practical and you got to use common sense. And I've had many people argue with me over the years on waterproofing because it's, you know, again, there's no 100% way to make it perfect. It's whatever the prescription is for that homeowner. Would you agree? Oh, sure. So tell me about the rapid dry system. When you guys go to a house, what do you look for? And then what's the solution usually? Well, it, it, it all depends. Um, that's a little bit of a loaded question, but uh, we like to start with an ins exterior inspection, check the uh, grade around the home, check the gutters, downspouts, make sure that all that's working properly, um, see if the, the homeowner has done anything to change or repair the grade on the outside. And then we like to start, then we would uh, proceed to the inside for a full interior inspection. So on the outside, when you say you're checking gutters and you're checking items like that, if you see positive drainage or drainage coming towards the house, mm -hmm. that's a big, big uh, question mark, right? It, it can be, and uh, the newer the home, the more concerned we are with that. On older homes, a lot of times, really changing the grade, if it's a 20, 30, 40-year-old home, just changing the grade on the outside is really going to do nothing other than cause the homeowner a lot of extra money. But a newer home because of the overdig, is that what it is? Because yeah. of when they were excavating? Exactly, yeah. That's what I figured. Okay, and that makes sense. So, folks, if you have water infiltration in your house, um, obviously, visually is the first thing you want to do is look at it. But sometimes you can have a wet basement and not see water on the floor. Isn't that correct? It is. So let's let's take block walls for an example. Many, many, many homes in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s were built with block walls. Yes. And blocks are hollow. Mm -hmm. Water migrates through them, drips down into the base and then slowly fills up yes. and then it comes through somewhere um when that happens and the homeowner says all right i know it's full of water i want to use rapid drive what kind of system or how do you approach it like that the solution okay if we determine that that's the uh the proper repair for that type of home uh the first thing that we do is uh remove the concrete about 15 inches out away from the wall uh, we like to dig down to the bottom of the footing uh, we have a proprietary uh, drain tile system that's unlike anything else on the on the market. And with this drain tile system, we're able to lower the water table one foot below the floor, and we guarantee that, uh, which is completely different than any other waterproofing company. Let me ask you about that. So you have the inside, um, you break the floor out. Mm -hmm. You go below the footing. The footing's usually, what, 8 inches, 10, 10 8 yeah, to 12 so we, inches? Yes, we, we go to the bottom of the footing. You have, to be, to, very, you be, you have to be careful because if you go below the footing, it can cause undermining. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to under... Uh, yeah, that's for sure. So then your drain tile, normal drain tile is a 4 or 6-inch mm -hmm. black pipe, right? Yes. Yours is not like that. No, it's it's completely different. Um, our product was actually designed for athletic fields uh, because you cannot, uh, with the size of athletic fields... There's no way to get proper pitch, and any other type of drain tile that's on the market requires about an eighth inch per foot of positive water drainage. With ours, it can be laid flat on its side, and it's uh, gravity-fed. Which is better. Okay, and then where does it, when, when, when you do the basic waterproofing, now, if it's one wall that's leaking and the mm -hmm. other three are decent, mm -hmm. can you do just one wall, or do you recommend the whole thing? Well, we recommend the whole thing, and uh, it... The, it Doing one wall sometimes can work, uh, but what we found is it can cause problems in other places also. Right. And the water finds another place. To exactly. In the waterproofing industry, there's been a lot of companies out there that'll do the one wall type fixes, and, and what that's caused is a lot of unhappy homeowners. Right. And it, it's also caused a lot of uh, home improvement loan providers to stop providing loans for waterproofing. Well, because homeowners pay this exorbitant amount of money to get it waterproofed on one wall, and then nine months into it, water's coming in the other wall. Right. And they're like, I'm not paying, I'm, I'm done paying. Right, yeah, and so they'll stop happens. paying. Yeah, Wells Fargo, they told us just absolutely not. They will not. Uh, any Unless you type do the whole thing. Yep. That's, you know what, I, and I can understand because they're afraid of getting ripped off or whatever it is, and because another thing is there's a lot of complaints against waterproofing companies. Yes. There's, you know, only a handful. You... Uh, uh, who service our western areas mm -hmm. and we've got everdry which you know them sure um but that's it no one else has been able to meet the criteria that we set which you know makes sense so doing all four it's like like tires you're not going to replace one tire you should you know right so when you get the inside drain system does it go to a sump pump a yes. sump clock Yes. Okay. Um, so, so a lot of older homes, their uh, original drain tile system would have tied into the storm sewer. 
we like to disconnect that and run it into a basket, what we refer to as a basket, which contains, uh, collects the water, and then the sump pump pumps it out and away from the house. Okay, so question for you, because this comes to me a lot, and, and let me give, you tell me your professional answer. I get homeowners who have a normal basement with a sump pump, and they say it's working two, three times an hour, pumping water out. But the water that pumps out just goes about six, seven feet away from the house, mm -hmm. and it puddles up. They say to me, what do I do? In that situation, water's puddling. It's always slowly draining down. It's probably working its way back into the foundation, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Is there a solution that you recommend for somebody well, we, to do something like I'm that? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but uh, yeah, we do. Uh, we like to go a minimum of 15 feet out away from the house and uh, bury the discharge. Um, just pumping it out of the house, it's going right back down. Uh, so at least the, 15 feet? Oh, yes. And so uh, a solid pipe? Yes. And then that solid pipe goes 15 feet, and then what do you do, like a French drain, or you could dig a hole, fill it with pea stone, and the water just goes in there and it... Yes, there's a basin that collects the water. Okay. And that's cool. So what if someone wants to do that? Is that a landscaper they call, or they can call you, or... Um, if it's just that, um, yeah. probably like a landscaping company. That's what I figure, because we have uh, a couple of landscaping companies that actually do drainage solving basically mm -hmm. i have people from royal oak ferndale berkeley they call me adam every time i raise my backyard floods and i'm like oh yeah welcome to you know that area yeah so there's ways to solve that obviously pump it into the neighbor right. <laughs> <laughs> and then tell the right? done. <laughs> then that's like spy versus spy they say listen tell your neighbors you use hired done they solved your problem right. and then when the neighbors come out just pump it back to them <laughs> oh i'm sorry what's going on here no just kidding um so that's a good idea. So how expensive is waterproofing? I mean, it just it depends based on... Well, it depends on the, the size and then uh, the the way that the the home has been finished on the inside also has a lot right. to do with it because we may have to remove existing drywall studs. Um, we are a builder, so we're able to remove all that stuff and, and reinstall it once we're done and leave the home in the same condition it was before we started, only dry. Okay, and that's the best part. So... If you have a finished basement, folks, you really need to make sure that a couple of things. One, your homeowner's insurance knows that the basement's finished. Get some pump coverage, folks. Absolutely. Okay? It's $100 a year. Call your insurance agent and ask him if you have it. And if he says, oh, no, you don't, fire him because he should be telling every homeowner that. And then find a, a home improvement or a, a, an insurance company that knows right out of the gates. And we, we have a lot like that because... You come into a house, homeowner says, they had a big flood, you know, uh, and they've got years of stuff in the basement, and it's finished walls, and they're like, what do you mean? i got to move everything off the walls? I've got to do this and that? It's a lot of work. It is. And then you got to cut the drywall. How far up do you cut it if you have to do it for the homeowner? Well, it depends. Um, we like to go a minimum of 12 inches, um, but we'll typically go up to the bottom of the outlet. Okay. So if it's a finished basement, you're gonna have your outlets, and those vary in height. Some are around 12 inches. Some are a little bit higher. So we'll go. We don't really want to get involved with the electrical. Sure. Now there are some jobs that uh, have a lot of groundwater coming through the floor at the cove, uh, cracks in the floor, and then also cracks in the walls, rod holes. And and what we'll do is remove all the drywall, all the studs and then encapsulate the wall that ties into our drainage tile and then put everything back together afterwards. That way, there's a 100% guarantee even against uh, water vapor. Oh, okay, so that helps too. Yes. Well, that's important, and I didn't realize that you did it like that. That's true. So another common problem in, in basement water premium. I'm in the basement. I got a concrete floor. I got block walls or poured walls, but water's coming up from below. Mm -hmm. Whoa, there's cracks and I got water coming out of the floor. Where does that come from? Right. And that's uh, hydrostatic pressure. And hydrostatic pressure, for the people that don't uh, know what it is, it's the weight of the water itself. And people will notice that uh, during the wet, uh, rainy season in the spring, for example, they have a lot more water coming in because there's a lot more saturated in the ground. And the weight of that water is pushing down. The drain tile system that was originally in the home is no longer working. The water has to find somewhere to go, so that's usually up through the cove or cracks in the floor. Okay, and the solution for that is, again, if you put a sump pump in there, mm -hmm. the water will find a place to go. Yes. And then you pump it out. Right. So if someone needs just a sump pump, can you guys do that? You know, yes. like, a, you know, the crock and the whole thing. Yes. All right, so there's there's a lot of solutions you have. Now, let's go into structural, right? Yes. Um, I've heard of carbon straps. I've heard of helical coils and piers. Mm -hmm. When does structural repairs come into play in a, in a typical basement? Well, 
the biggest thing with this is there's a lot of companies that are getting into these type of repairs, and the biggest mistake that we found over the years is that they're reading the signs or the evidence of structural problems without actually doing a laser scan of the entire home. And what will happen is we'll have homeowners that are telling us, well, this guy told us this, this guy told us that. Right. It's and, and the first question. Information overload. Yeah. And the first thing that I ask them, did they use a laser? Well, no, they were pointing out to the cracks and explaining to me why the crack's moving this way. But nine times out of ten, what we find is these cracks on a certain wall are actually caused from a different location where uh, the foundation settling. There was, was one that shift. Had, yeah. Exactly. So we've found it where a uh, contractor has recommended repairs on the other side of the house, but come to find out it was the opposite side that has dropped two and a half inches, for example. So it must be frustrating for a homeowner when one guy says this, the other guy says that. Yes. Who's right? Well, they flip a coin. I mean, you have to really convince, like they're going to court. You got to convince the jury. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And with us, uh, what, what we do is we don't recommend things that, uh, well, you know, my father did it this way. My uncle did it this way. Uh, what we do is take all of our measurements, all the evidence, and then we go back to our office. We have an in-house engineer that actually designs all of our waterproofing systems and our structural repairs. So instead of having a semi-trained salesman, got an engineer. we have an engineer that actually engineers all of our repairs. So if someone wants more information, should they call you? Yes, absolutely. Right. Rapid Dry with an I, folks. www.rapid-dry with an I.com. The number... 734-219-0879. Mike Beatty, I want to thank you for coming on today. Thank you, Adam. I'll talk to you soon. We'll be right back, folks. What you don't know can hurt you. Hiradon.com. Welcome back, folks. This is the Hiradon Radio Network. My name's Adam Helfman. I'm a home improvement expert. Stop laughing. It's the truth. Anyways, this hour brought to you by Mosquito One. Uh... Get rid of mosquitoes this summer, folks. People are calling me raving about this guy, right? Mosquito One. Just go to HireDone.com. You get $50 off a summer program. Literally, if you want to enjoy the outdoors and you got mosquito problems, this guy gets rid of all of them. Unbelievable. And the homeowners that have been using them have been raving about it. So, again, another deal at HireDone.com. Also, this hour, uh, Hire Done brought to you in part by All Brick Design. That's right. Get 20% off your project at HireDone.com. Brick paving is all the rage this year. Uh, we're going to be doing a video with Fent Brick Pavers uh, coming up soon, which I'm excited about because they're a Michigan-made product. And anytime at HireDone we get a chance to promote Michigan and anything Michigan-made, I get excited. So shout out to Fent Brick Pavers. And if you're getting brick pavers at your house, folks, make sure your contractor is using Fent. Um, anyways, so it's weird. It's chilly, it's hot, it's cold, the temperature never normal, but if you're going to put your air conditioner on, which I'm the air conditioning guy, I want uh, to let you all know something. You can save a ton of money if you insulate your house properly. And I'm talking about not keeping the heat in the house from the wintertime, which is what most people think, but in the summertime. So what a better time now to then bring one of the experts for uh, energy savings, we'll call it, in studio right now, is our longtime friends from Dana Insulation. We've got Tom Mackey. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. Great to see you again. Yeah, you too, my friend. Always great to see you. So is it true? You know, people think, oh, I want to put insulation in my house for the wintertime. Summertime, just as important. Absolutely as important. Uh, surprisingly, I spent the better part of this week uh, talking with folks about just that issue. Uh, keeping the home cool is, is very important, and more importantly, keeping the cost of cooling down. Right, and that's what you guys are good at. So let's do a little bit of science, and then we'll talk about how to make people cooler. So warm air travels towards the cold. So when you keep your house cooler, the heat from the outside wants to come in the house. That's right. It's not the cool air escaping. It's the heat coming in and, and adjusting that. That's absolutely so right. So you want to stop the heat from coming in. So how does that happen when Dana comes to a house? Part of the, uh, the insulation misconception uh, that needs to be addressed each time I go out to talk with folks about that very subject. Uh, infiltration is probably one of our biggest enemies as homeowners. Uh, and it works pretty much the same way in the winter where the cold is en entering in. The exterior walls are very, very important. 
the basement bonds, the crawl space bonds. Uh, those are areas in which really need to be addressed. Certainly your attics are very important, will remain important forever. Uh, but on the uh, overall scheme of things, the exterior walls is where all the warm air is coming in from or the cold air is coming in from in the winter months. Great point. So, folks, he, he, here's what he's saying. Go in your basement if you have one. At the top of the basement wall is called the bond plate. You'd be surprised, almost 30% of your cooling or heating costs comes out of the bond plate, escaping out of there. So you need to insulate that. Uh, Tom, is that something you guys can come out and solve for a homeowner? We do it daily. Uh, it's very, very important, and thankfully the uh, general public is becoming more aware of how important that is. And I thank uh, our utility companies, DTE, Consumer Energy, Semco. They know. They're, they're doing a marvelous job at educating the consumer. Uh, and we do our best when we're, but we can't reach the public quite like they can. And more and more, the uh, the population here in Metro Detroit is realizing how important that bond plate is. Well, and and I'm glad you said it because the population knows that next year heating and cooling is not going to be less than this year. Uh, it doesn't. It rarely goes down. In 41 years, I've never seen it go right. down. Now it may have slowed down, but. When we make the houses more energy efficient, when the cool air, and this is this is the common sense answer, folks. When you put your air conditioning on, and let's say you like it at 72 and it's 76 degrees, your, your air conditioner goes on, the blower for your furnace goes on, and it's blowing cool air through the house until the thermostat reads 72. Now, if you insulate properly, that cool air stays at 72 degrees longer. If the heat's coming in, it's going to go up to 73 74, and then it's going to trigger your air conditioner to go back on again. It's going to cycle on and off all the time. The longer you keep the air in the house cool without using your air conditioner from proper insulation, the less your air conditioner works, which means less energy you're saving. And it's also going to preserve your equipment for many, many years. So proper insulation is going to take all that important HVAC uh, equipment, furnaces, air conditioning units, uh, humidifiers, so on and so forth, and it's going to give it a longer life. Very right. important in the whole scheme of things. So if a homeowner knows they have need, they need a lot of insulation in their house and they need bond plate, they need it in the walls, they need it in the attic, and it's a lot you know, to do, can you guys give them like a roadmap and say, okay, this summer we're just going to do this, but in the fall we'll do this and that? Is that a good way to do that? That's an outstanding question. Uh, I face that kind of a, a dilemma pretty much every single day of the week where folks are trying to maximize uh, the benefit for the minimum amount of dollars. So what we do is we come up with a plan of priority. And every everything is a little bit different in each home. I have to listen to each consumer, what their needs and wants are, and we structure something that fits exactly what you just described. So if a homeowner says to you, okay, I got a, I got a modern air conditioner, I uh, have a brand new furnace, but I haven't upgraded my insulation. I really want to cut my energy bill down as much as possible. Can you, can you prescribe a solution for that? Well, I'll put together an entire plan of things that I would do if it were my home. So I go into each home with that kind of a vision. Uh, I'd like to see if this were my home, here is what I would do. And the homeowner often will say, well, I'm working with a limited budget. Please prescribe to me which order it should go in. And we're more than happy to do that as a company and to discuss an overall plan with a starting point and hopefully a finishing point as well. Now, a lot of homeowners have asked me, hey, Adam, I need to get information on the rebates or refunds or coupons or whatever from the, the, the uh, energy providers like DTE or consumers. Can you guys help the homeowners with that? Well, a special shout out goes to Judy in our office, who is an absolute expert at the rebate programs. And Judy does a marvelous job assisting uh, our clients getting the information that's required to uh, electronically communicate to the respective utility companies. And Dana Insulation files everything on your behalf. So you'll do the paperwork for the homeowners? We do it all for them. Okay, that's important. Folks, you hear that? Because a lot of contractors out there I know will just, we call them blow and go. They'll blow insulation erratic and get out of there. With Dana, not only are they going to assess the situation, they're going to prescribe the fix, 
If you say go ahead, then they're going to do the fix, but then they're going to take it far enough where they'll fill out the paperwork for you, send it to DTE, and DTE sends a check directly to the homeowner, right? That's exactly so right. So you don't, you, don't you don't have to get the money and then send it to the homeowner. It goes directly to them. You generally find that once Judy has all the appropriate information, the process time is next to nothing in our office, and then it's a four- to six-week process for the utility company to do what they need to do at their end and then mail you a check. In your mailbox, call it six weeks later. Your rebate will be there. Therefore, the cost of the job has been reduced. Which is a great way to do that. So um, someone wants to call Dana Insulation uh, this weekend or Monday. Can we give them the phone number? I use the 586-463-8625 phone number is the easiest way to reach us. And we're available six days a week. And of course, folks, Saturdays. you can always go to hireitdone.com and you know, and ask for insulation. And Dana will be one of the contractors calling you. Uh, especially, you can ask for Tom. So you're you can get out in the same couple of days, right? Absolutely, out within a couple of days. So it, it, typically, is summertime busy for you guys, or was it used to be a little bit of a low in winter? You went crazy. Well, this is the first Sunday I'll have off in a long time. And frankly, it was a choice because of uh, some other reasons. Uh, but I've been going seven days a week now for about two years. Okay, so that's how busy you guys are. We're very busy. Folks, here's the deal. There's not many good insulation contractors out there. And one of the things about Hire Done is we went out and found some of the best. But I've known Dana, and I've known you, Tom, for I can't even tell you how many years now. Um, but I really want to tell you, I, you guys are really good. And Thanks, I do man. appreciate uh, our relationship uh, I'm sure Sam's listening, so shout out to Sam today and the rest of your crew over at Dana. But I really, really do appreciate the business we do together because time after time after time, the homeowners call us and brag about you. Well, that's great to hear. Uh, we give it 100% at all times. Uh, I wish our batting average could be 100, but if it's not, we're, we strive and always maintain customer relation. Think about it. In Major League Baseball, if your batting average is 500, <laughs> You'd be is, a superstar. Right. And that's uh, like half. You we, know. Have, we have to be way better than 500. Yeah, no, you guys are in the 900s. That's for strong. sure. Yeah, we're very, very proud of our uh, uh, customer come first uh, approach and results come first as well. Which is always what we wanted hired on. Tom Mackey, Dana Insulation. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you very much, We'll Adam. be right back, folks. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire Done Radio Network. What you don't know can hurt you. HireDone.com. Welcome back, folks. This is the Hire It Done Radio Network. My name's Adam Helfman. Adam at HireItDone.com is my email if you have a question. We also have the phone number 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. We haven't really activated it because the national show is working on that. Anyways, it's a great weekend. Uh, congratulations to all the graduates out there. You have any graduation parties. I hope your house is in good shape. Um, listen, owning a house is... is you know, not it's not the easiest thing in the world. A lot of people don't know what to do. A lot of people know what to do. But if you're like me, you don't want to do it yourself. You want to hire it done. You want to get someone else to do it for you. But you got to be smart. I don't want you to overpay. That's your fear, right? Being overpay, overpaying or getting ripped off. So that's the whole point, folks. Hire it done finds really, really good contractors. And here's what I noticed. Our contractors are not the most expensive. I get homeowners all the time emailing me. Hey, Adam, I got a couple quotes. Can you can you just help me make sense of all this? And yeah, if you want to work with me, folks, I'll help you. Even if you got a good contract and you're not sure if the price is right, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you decide decide who to go with. Even if it's not a hired done contractor, you gotta remember they need to put everything in writing on the proposal. And then once you get the proposal, hand it right back to them. Hey, Mr. Contractor, thanks for the proposal. However, According to Adam Helfman, he says you should you should also tell me on the proposal everything not included. And what does that do? Is that just being snarky? No. It's being smart because it's now forcing your contractor to think, wait a minute. Okay, what is it included? And I'll give you the example I give all the time. Contractor puts in bathroom remodel. Contractor to uh, clean up debris. Perfect. Right? You're thinking it's right. Well, guess what? He demos the bathroom, all the debris in a pile at the end of the driveway. 
You're like, whoa, 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 Mr. Contractor, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I don't, I'm not hauling it away. That costs extra. Have your garbage company take it away. Your garbage company's not taking the old broken toilet, the schmutzy tub, the gross tile. Ew. He's not taking it. That's why it needs to be, he needs to put in there, not included as a dumpster. Or the advanced contractor says, clean up and haul away debris. You see, folks, you don't know that. You're not an expert in the business. I'm here to help you. So if you want a good contractor that does all that for you, you do it that way. I had a homeowner recently call me and say, hey, Adam, the guy's blown blue insulation in my attic, but I don't know if they put the baffles in. I don't know if it's 100%. You know, they popped a circuit. And I'm like, okay. And I call one of my guys up. And this is why I hired done so good, our team, right? I call another one of my guys. I say, hey, listen, here's the deal. I got a homeowner who was concerned. She can't get in the attic. She doesn't want to take a picture of it or anything like that. I had her send me the proposal. The contractor she had working on her house is really, really good. He gets all A's. The homeowners love him. But there's a chance that, you know, maybe they missed something. It's very possible. So I sent another guy out there just to look at it. And I explained to him, listen, if you find mistakes, note them. Okay? But also note the solution. Don't say, you know, the last thing you want to do is have a contractor come over and th get thrown under the bus, right? Nobody don't, wants to do that. And we're very careful. We walk on eggshells about that. But what we did was we said to him, listen, note the issues and then uh, prescribe a solution. Otherwise, don't do it. And, and I was smart enough to tell the homeowner, listen, uh, before you react, let him come out, let him look at everything, and then let's talk about it so that, it, remember, you got to always give the original contractor the ability or the right to cure. He's got to be able to fix it. So in this situation, the, the insulation guy called me and he's like, Adam, it's, she got, more, she totally got her money's worth. There were two or three baffles that I could really nitpick, but it's all good. I said, okay, great. So I'm going to call the homeowner and say, Hey, here's what I found. Here's how I suggest you call the original contractor and say, Hey, I was concerned. I had another guy come out. I want you to just fix this for me, please. And you know what will happen? The contractor will be more than happy to go out there and take care of it. He'll be like, well, why don't you call me in the beginning? That's the other thing. It's cu I'm curious as well why that didn't happen. But that's the reason why I Hire It Done is here. I'm here to help you, the homeowner. And the other thing is, folks, if you're one of those people who loves to gather information, I love you then. Go to HireItDone.com. Watch my videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay? Read our blogs. Go to LinkedIn. Check everything out. And here's another thing. If you are a homeowner who's listening right now and you know a really good contractor, please send them my way. I need kitchen and bath contractors. I need more landscapers. I need more plumbers. And the reason is, is because my plumbers, my guys, they're all super busy. Why are they busy? Because they do good work. Okay? That's the deal. So if you know a good remodeler who's licensed, insured, and the homeowners brag about them, okay, I don't, you know, we, we have to pass our 10-point bridge screening, which includes, includes criminal background. So don't think because, oh, we just let anyone in. We don't. So it's important that you know that. And, again, Hire It Done exists to help you, the homeowner. I exist to share the knowledge of my home improvement experience so that when you're ready for a deck, when you're ready for a room addition or an award-winning kitchen or just quartz or granite tops, which one's more popular, right? You want to hear from someone who keeps their finger on the pulse. That's me. I keep my finger on the pulse. And speaking of decks, what is the best deck? You know, people, you know, it's deck season. We're getting busy. Um, but what is the best deck? Is it Trex? Is it Timber Tech? Is it Composite Lumber? Is it a, 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 a rare species of Ipe? Is it Cedar? What is it? Well, it's up to you, folks. That's the real deal. But is it, is it the one that's installed properly? That's what I would err on. That's why finding a good deck contractor is not so easy today. You know, you got companies now, uh, Lumberyards, that are advertising that they can give you contractors. That's only going to last till they get sued, okay? They get some, some great idea that, oh, yeah, come to my Lumberyard and we'll give you the contractor. And then when that contractor screws it up, guess who's getting sued? The Lumberyard, too. That, that, that's just a matter of time. We at Hire It Done, though, because we refer you and we do it properly, we find you great contractors. And when we team up with a lumberyard, it's so that the lumberyard can go to the manufacturer and we can work and collaborate 
so that the homeowner wins, just like we did with Bolliard Lumber recently. If you're looking for a boutique, high customer service place without the high price, you can go to Bolliard, right? Because we made a deal where our deck contractors are going to buy the deck product, Timber Tech, which is a premium deck product, by the way, and they're going to buy it from Bolliard. They're going to get free fasteners, which is going to save you, the homeowner, money. So I don't want you to go anywhere else. I want you to go where we tell you. But, hey, you can go shop and take a look. I mean, Northville Lumber has a nice uh, uh, yard. They have a nice display. Mans, you can go there. I don't have a problem with that. All I want is you to buy from my guys, just like they want you to buy from them. It's all fair, fair and friendly. But at the same time, you'll get a better price and you'll get a better service. Everything's better through us. And uh, I, I back it up, and I, and I continue to. And that's what the homeowners know. We recently uh, were work, working with a, a contractor you've heard of Koi Construction. Um, they've been around forever, and they're one of the best doc, deck contractors around. So uh, Cedar Works, you've heard of them. Anyways, we have really good guys. But my point is, folks, are you planning the proper job? Are you planning ahead? Think about it. Planning ahead. What does that mean? That means if you're going to do a kitchen, you're going to do an addition, you're going to do a roof, get started now. You want landscaping? You want brick pavers? Call them. If they're that busy, tell them you want to be first in line for March of next year. You want to get your air conditioning tuned up? Get it done now. Okay? We're in a, an economic boom. The really, really good contractors are busy. However, they'll tell you when they can get to you. If you find a guy that says, oh, I can jump on it right away, it's a little bit of a red flag. I really want you to watch out, and I want you to be careful. But again, if you go to HireItDone.com, that's where we come in. We help you find the good contractors, and if we can't, we tell you. And we're responsive. You can get a hold of me, Adam Helfman. My email's Adam at HireItDone.com, right? So it's not like I'm not accessible. That's for you people in Metro Detroit, you consider yourself super lucky. I want to help you. I want you to have hassle-free home improvement. I want you to brag about my contractors because what happens? People are like, yeah, I got a roof that doesn't leak. I used Kern Brothers. I used Taylor Brothers. I used Rapid Roofing. Think about that. American Standard. We have by far the best roofers. There is no question. Peaks, Kanga, they hop to it. Exterior experts. Think about it, folks. Nobody does better than us. All right. Have an awesome weekend. We'll see you next week. I'm Adam Helfman, and you're listening to Hire It Done on 97.1 The Ticket.